Kerry on our way into Listol and I may have left it a little late with regards to battery power. Uh, we are now down to about 10 kilometers. I expected to go in the next two or three, but we're probably about, I don't know, seven or eight kilometers away from Listol, so I'll, I'll be fine. But uh, it'll be... Uh, a little close so we've got a longer stop than usual in the stall but that's okay I'm absolutely starving and here we go oh the dashes the dashes so I think we're down to about I don't know five or six percent thereabouts it's a good thing that we're only about Oh, I don't know, three or four kilometers away from the uh, charge point, so we should be absolutely fine. They always like to over dramatize everything. Now, this of course is assuming that either one of the charge points in Lithol actually works, but it worked fine earlier today. Time to go to the other one. Okay, some creative parking. And a three meter lead provide the solution. But, uh, you know, just for other people who go to Listol, you can easily drive onto that pavement. And there's plenty of space over here. Um, you know, and if somebody wants to give me stick for it, uh, well, you know, we can blame uh, these two. Right, time to get some food. I'm absolutely starving. The car was down to 5%. Uh, it's down to 8% now at the moment. So um, I'll leave it here for a good hour anyway. Because we've got another 85 or so kilometers left to go home. So, food time.
the things I always forget, closing this thing. Now here we are, I'd say 100%, blooming excellent. Now, good morning. Um, sorry for the bad filming yesterday, but basically what ended up happening was that, um, well I have a, a GoPro camera uh, for my, uh, for Christmas, um, but I actually ran out of battery on my mobile phone. I do most of my filming with, um, which I didn't realise. Um, so, it was a bit of a bad day's filming, but it was a, quite an eventful day nonetheless. We drove from um, Tesco and Mallow, um, where we just did a quick top up, um, to um, Cashel, because we were on our way to Dublin Airport, this is where I am at the moment, it's the Premier Inn Dublin Airport. Great hotel, can definitely recommend it. It has a charge point. Um, anyway, um, basically when I arrived at Cashel it had a um, an AC error with a circuit breaker. So the AC was unavailable, which was a bit of a bummer. And thankfully I had about 45, 45 kilometers or so left of range. Um, so I just had a look around uh, on the map and said to myself, I have either Turles or Erlingford. Now, Erlingford has a fast charger, but um, I it was one of the brands that I had issues with. I didn't have issues with that particular unit, but I decided, you know what, for the sake of safety, I'll go to Turles. Um, Turles, unfortunately, had only a 7 kilowatt point. Um, it was working, but it was only a 7 kilowatt point. So after about 20 minutes there, uh, we decided to drive on and try Erlingford anyway. Um, Erlingford worked, charged up to, I think I cut it off at around 91% thereabouts. Uh, then proceeded to go to Junction 14 where I arrived with another 30% left in the battery, so it was quite an economic drive actually. I might be able to show that to you because my totals are actually quite, quite good. It was about 14 degrees-ish. Um, let's see now. We go um, vehicle, driving eco, trip report. So these are my totals so far. I've done 262 kilometers and an average consumption of, you see that, 14.7. Now, at an average speed of 66, that was actually blooming brilliant. Now, I drove the entire way in more or less um, on the motorway. Um, the bit up to Cashel, I drove about 110. Um, Drove slower between Cashel and Turles because they were normal roads, so I did about 80 kilometers per hour. Then when I went back to Erlingford, it was again it was about 80 kilometers all the way up. Um, from Erlingford, I did the motorway mostly between 95 and 100. Um, I was behind a truck because the weather was, you could probably hear it, but because the car is actually shaking in the wind. The wind was actually a lot worse um, yesterday. Um, I'm really hoping that my flight is not going to get delayed or cancelled. Um, uh, but anyway, um, I, I did the whole drive up from Erlingford to Junction 14, more or less between 95 and 110. So I, I'm quite, quite happy with it. Um, it, it was, it was um, actually quite a surprise. The, re the biggest reason is, is that in the entire trip I turned the aircon off. Um, so the difference uh, that the aircon makes is probably... Two, an extra two kilowatt per hundred kilometers, which is quite substantial, really. Um, so I, I wasn't cold, not at all. I had the temperature set to my usual settings that I showed a few episodes back. So twenty degrees, um, one airflow up, one airflow airflow to the side, any AC off. I didn't actually touch the actual um, fan speed, but you can adjust that anyway. So that actually really, really helped. 
as a result, uh, using 14.7 uh, kilowatts per 100 kilometer, it actually means that I had an estimate range of about 150, which was absolutely staggering. So, like, I have an estimated range at the moment of 143. That's probably the highest I've seen it. I think it sort of went up to about 150 a few weeks back, but it, it or a few days back. Um, but it, it's actually amazing. Anyway, I'm going to move the car, um, and I'm going to go and get up some breakfast, and um, go off to my flight to Holland with the missus. Um, I won't actually be back for 10 days. I might edit this video when I'm over in uh, in Holland so that you guys can at least see it. Um, or I might add the return journey onto it. Uh, we'll see. Um, so, um, yeah. Okay, bye. So there we are. The airport parking. Also included in the package that I got, which is great. Um, so we've got a free charge point. But anyway, <laughs> um, okay, time to go, bye guys. So if someone is trying to find the actual charge point, this is where you come into the Premier Inn and it is literally right around the corner with an e-car mark there. The first time I drove in I, was, I went straight straight 